Hi, friends of Combate Americas. I'm the English voice, Max Bredos. You don't need me to tell you these are difficult times. You know that. We're all in this together, but we've got to remain safe and sound. And more than anything, we've got to stay connected. And thanks to technology, we're able to do that. So I'm bringing in the other English voice of the Combate Americas broadcast team, the Venezuelan vixen, Juliana Peña. Boy, is it good to see you. How are you, Max? How's it going, partner? Doing all right. We've we taken it one day at a time. Got an 11-year-old kid here trying to homeschool him. I'm probably not the best teacher, but uh, you know, we're picking up things as well. But I, I know you look, you had, you had a fight coming up, but now you're at home and you're playing mom. You're playing the fight. You, you have a lot of roles. Yeah, definitely. It's, uh, these are trying times. Like you said, you know, these are strange times that we're living in and uh it's been a doozy i'll just put it lightly you look great though you look like you, i mean you're, you're putting on a brave face what are things that have worked for you during all of this what are things that have helped you get through days well listen don't let this smile fool you <laughs> inside is a freaking mom behind this smile ready to freaking beat the crap out of someone <laughs> um, but yeah, the things that I think that have helped me the most have been, you know, workouts, home workouts. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I sneak away to the gym and go hit mitts and stuff, but it's been very much like closed quarters, you know, only me and my coach and just, you know, getting in workouts where they're just running me through simulations and stuff like that. So it's mostly solo work and I feel like you know right when I get in the house I, I take off all my clothes at the door and I go jump in the shower and make sure that everything is you know sanitized or whatever but definitely the home workouts have been keeping me sane you know the the walks I feel like once you get that adrenaline going that blood pumping and and get a little endorphins going from a workout your day is much better you become much happier and that's definitely been the thing that's helped me get through this uh trying time yeah i actually went on i had to go on a run before we did this interview so i'm in i'm in my best uh condition of the day got myself all dolled up if you saw me 40 minutes ago probably not as good optically but so be <laughs> it but great advice there get out when you can stay at home but get out those those for an hour 45 30 minutes and, and get some fresh air and walk around you're in chicago Yep. I'm in Los Angeles and we know the big cities uh, have their own challenges in dealing with this. How, how has it been with neighbors? Uh, obviously keeping in touch, but also keeping a safe distance. Um, I see a lot of people coming together as a community. When you walk through the neighborhoods, you see a lot of, you know, hand painted signs from all the neighbors and kids that say, you know, we're in this together. We're going to make it through this. And that's like really nice to see um, on my end. You know, I know that everyone's kind of going through the same thing. So we, I believe as a community are going to be stronger in the in the end result and uh, you know just trying to come together as a community I think is you know coming together but staying apart I think is um, what people have been trying to do around here it is in, in more, many I know it's dis difficult to get through here but there's been really inspiring moments I, I had something similar I, I was going for a jog and I saw a little hand-painted sign and it said it was like my name's Jill my husband's Steve our daughter is uh, Samantha, and if you're running by or walking by, just wave and say hello. And I said, that's fantastic. I, I might do that myself. Right. Except I might go, hey, Max, you said to come by and say hello. I know I said, wave, wave, don't come by. Just say Have wave. you seen those Tiger King things? It's like honk if you hate Carol Baskin. <laughs> um, people hyping up Tiger King. Yeah. Uh, have you watched anything, anything that you would recommend? Was it Yes, Sebastian Monte Scalo, Stay Hungry. His uh, stand-up comedy special on Netflix is hilarious. I mean, okay. in the first 10 minutes, he's talking about MMA fighters. And I mean, I'm like busting a gut laughing my socks off. So seriously, Monte Scalo, Sebastian Monte Scalo, Stay Hungry. His Netflix special is hilarious. Good. You were preparing for a fight, which was supposed to take place in March in Columbus under the UFC banner. So obviously that's on hold, but where do you see your fighting career going from here? You said you're training, but how, what, what are you looking for? Are you going to continue to fight? 
Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm just waiting for the green light. I know that Dana White has been doing so much trying to get this card for April 18th to happen. I don't think it's going to happen with Khabib and, and um, Tony Ferguson, unfortunately. Um, but I also saw that like once they get this one taken care of, then they'll figure out what's going to happen on with the, with the rest of them. And they're going to probably try to get on a more regular schedule. So I would assume after this fight, you know, everyone's going to know a little bit more and be able to figure out when and where we can fight. And uh, if we can make it happen, we'll make it happen. I'm ready to go, especially after this, you know, uh, time to heal and time to, you know, unwind and kind of refocus and redirect the energy. I think all the fighters are ready and chomping at the bit to get back inside the octagon. Yeah. Everyone take a moment to think about the fighters. They're out there just churning, working hard for fights. And many of them had to all put on hold and they have to continue to keep that that momentum going. So we're thinking about everyone out there. Combate Americas was the first to react of all the combat sports companies with regards to uh, postponing events. Uh, I know Bellator followed UFC eventually as well, but I think, I think there's a lot of hope with regards to MMA and boxing and all those combat sports, finding a way to execute these events get these events up and running so that you on whether it's access tv or univision or wherever you watch it can enjoy it so i i feel optimistic about that yeah i think that it's just a matter of time before you know things get back up and running um and definitely it's a trying time for for athletes everywhere you know pro athletes nba and like i mean uh all the M mlb players and um there's a lot of athletes that are being shut down and, and saying that you can't practice, you can't leave your house, you can't do this. So, I mean, it's, it's trying for the athletes. It's trying for just the regular average Joe, you know, living next door too, who, you know, might not be able to go shopping when he wants or, you know, what, what have you, you don't really take into consideration the freedoms that you're allowed until they get taken away from you. So I think that if anything, this is just kind of a big reflection on how blessed and lucky we are to live our daily lives normally after all those freedoms have been taken away. So it's, it's yep. strange times, but yeah. And people yeah. handle it as best they can. I think I've always been inspired by that, how people handle this because you know, everything can become unhinged and people are still being neighborly. They're helping each other. We're trying to do that as well. Hey JP, I have a quick question. I haven't got a watch on. Can you tell me the time? I, I... It is a three thirty six my time. You have a giant clock behind you and it says two thirty six. Well, that was daylight savings time. And, um, <laughs> That I don't think we changed it, but on my computer it says three three thirty six, and then I'm like, is my computer time right? Is it? No, no, no. I'll, I'll tell you look back at the clock, but let me tell you something. Uh, when they ask me what day of the week it is, I don't know. When they ask me what time it is, I don't know. The days have just been melding together, so I mean that's kind of a trick question. I should have right. said I don't know because I really don't know the times anymore these days. It's everything's foggy. Yes. Hey, but we got March behind us. So everyone, let's let's approach April with the same vigor and let's let's let's, and let's stay this. locked down for another thirty days. Yeah. Yes. We'll do this in thirty days. I'm, I'm sure I'll have a full beard. Uh, that <laughs> clock will probably be broken behind you. We'll, we need we'll to be. set some goals, Max. We need to start with like a list of goals and then break those goals down into what we can accomplish first and what it's going to take to accomplish that goal and then just have due dates on those goals you know for the next 30 days what is your little goal what do you want to accomplish and then what is it going to take and require to get to that goal i did mine a few days ago and um you know that's what i'm going to be working on for the next 30 days for sure one yes. of those was to watch more fights and to take notes and to become a better commentator um commentating's really hard actually it might seem easy but it's very difficult and um i just want to hone in on this time to just continue to watch as many fights as possible so that i can keep honing in on my craft of commentating so that's something that i am you know going to be doing for the next 30 days for sure great advice on all fronts uh, jp will be talking soon i know we're going to be here uh trying to get some of the combate americas fighters we look forward to hearing what they have to say but thank you for sharing that great to see you Pleasure, and always, my keep, friend. Keep practicing, but I'll tell you, you've gotten a lot better at your craft, and I can't wait to be calling fights with you again here soon. Thank you. I look forward to flying into L.A. and getting back into that Access studio. It's fun. It's always yeah, a good time. let's do it. All right. Combate Americas, familia. Stay indoors. Stay safe. Get a little exercise. Make a list of things to do. We're all in this together. That's right. We're all family.